<laughs> Good afternoon, I'm Ivan Subotic. I'm a PhD student at Electric Motors and Drives Research Group and today I'll be speaking about chargers of electric vehicles. I'll start with standard chargers that can be found in electric vehicles today and in the road. Then I'll, uh, I'll present the integrated charger that is proposed by academia and I will end up with a free charger which is proposed within electric motors and drives research group. So first let's have a look uh, what charging options an average owner of electrical vehicle has. First he can charge his vehicle from an off-board charging station, which is a charging station that is not placed inside the vehicle. And actually these charging stations are quite fast. They can charge electric vehicle within 15 minutes. But the problem is that they are not so widely spread. So if a driver restricts himself only for, uh, to charge his vehicle from these charging stations, he has to look for their disposition and if he doesn't find a charging station, he might end up pushing that vehicle manually. <laughs> then, if he, if he has a vehicle that has inductive charger, which is wireless charger, the situation is actually the same. Because still he has to search for the charging station, and if not find it, same destiny. But, well, luckily enough, his vehicle is equipped with an onboard charger, which means that actually offboard charger is made smaller and placed inside the vehicle. And now he's no longer dependent on DC charging stations. He can charge his vehicle anywhere, but from any, uh, from any AC mains. But uh, because it's made smaller, it's capable only for slower charging. So now he can choose. He can either charge his vehicle from a, a fast DC charging station if he can uh, if he is able to find it or if he is not able to find it he can f charge it from AC mains using his onboard charger and he, it's a bit slower but he will still be able to go to charge that vehicle but let's have a look what is the impact of placing a charger like this inside the vehicle first this charger is a real element a real box that has to be placed inside the vehicle which means that it occupy some space, so there will be less space for passengers in that car. Then, that element has some weight. So, when you place some heavy weight inside the vehicle, the vehicle will be slower. And finally, that box, that charger that is, that is placed inside the electric vehicle, it consists of some power electronic components which are expensive. So, that car will be more expensive. And this is where academia jumped in, in order to try to solve these problems. Academia proposed integrated charger, but in order to see what that is and how it works, first let's have a look at the electric drivetrain of electric vehicle. Every electric vehicle, first of all, has to have a battery. Then it has a converter which converts DC voltage of a battery into AC voltage which supplies a motor. And if it has an onboard charger, then that charger is a standalone device. It's charged from mains. It converts AC voltages of mains into DC voltages that is suitable for charging the battery. But here researchers noticed that actually there is already one AC to DC converter inside the electric vehicle. And they notice that the only difference between this onboard on charger and this AC to DC converter is that this onboard charger has some windings in front of it. It has three bulky windings. But then they observed that this electric machine and they saw that this machine actually has three windings in it. So they proposed to perform some hardware, hardware reconfiguration to disconnect these windings from each other and to connect them to mains. So now the power can flow from the mains into the battery, from the grid into the battery and also from the battery into the grid. These currents get filtered through these windings and then 
AC voltages get transformed to DC voltages, which then charge the battery. Uh, and then with this configuration, it, there is no need for any additional onboard charger, like a separate element. But of course, there is a catch. <laughs> when, uh, if uh, three phase charging, fast charging wants to be achieved, three phase mains has to be employed. And then three phase currents are flowing through this machine. And when three phase currents are flowing through an electric machine, usually it rotates, some torque is produced. So if a driver wants to charge its vehicle, he just plugs it in. He doesn't want to chase away <laughs> because it might start spinning. So most of the researchers limit their research on single phase, single phase charging. And with single phase charging, although it's low, when single phase currents are flowing through a machine, they will not produce a torque in the machine and it will not rotate. But the charging is slow. And here we came to the research that is performed within our group. We wanted to achieve fast charging, but without any torque in the machine. And moreover, possibly without any hardware configuration, we didn't want to reconnect those windings that are connected to each other and then to reconnect them and connect to the grid. So we proposed utilization of a nine-phase converter and a nine-phase machine in electric vehicles. And here is how it works. Nine-phase machine has three sets of three windings, unlike three-phase machine which have only one set of windings. And in the propulsion mode, a set of windings is producing a field that rotates and the rotor uh, follows this rotation of the field. The advantage over three-phase systems is that if one of these sets are in a fault condition, they can, sorry, uh, they can continue to operate. So with only one set, that uh, vehicle, although it's in a fault condition, it can drive, the, it can transport the driver to his home, and that is called limp home mode, which is one of increasing, uh, increasing requirements for electric vehicles. An additional advantage of, electric, uh, of this configuration, multi-phase configuration, is in high power application, because it's actually cheaper for high power application uh, to divide the power with multiple phases. It's cheaper than to have three phases that are rated for high, really high powers. But the main advantage of this multi-phase system is in the charging mode because this machine has three isolated neutral points which are available. They are really convenient to connect the grid directly to those isolated neutral points from a grid. And this is achieved without any hardware configuration. You can see that these windings are still connected to each other. And with appropriate control, it can be achieved that the same currents are flowing through windings of the same set. And you can notice that their sum is zero, so there will be no torque production in the machine. The machine will not rotate. That is like you having three people pulling you at three directions, but they are doing that simultaneously. So you will stay where you are, they will have no effect on changing your position. And this is the principle that we used in our charger. As the same currents are flowing, they are cancelling each other's effect, and there will be no rotor movement in this machine during the charging process. And the charging process is three-phase fast charging. Now, this charging is performed without any hardware configuration, and because it doesn't require any new elements, like a separate box. It's just using the existing uh, uh, drivetrain of the vehicle. It's completely free. So, to summarize, <coughs> onboard chargers that can be found today has some several drawbacks. They are heavy, they are costly, and they occupy space. Then, a new concept is proposed by academia, 
in for integration. But most of these integrated chargers are only applicable for slow charging. And finally, the charger that is proposed by our group is capable of fast charging without any torque production in the machine, without movement of that machine. It is applicable without any hardware configuration. And finally, it doesn't utilize a single new element compared to what's already inside an electric vehicle, so it's completely free. So thank you very much for your attention.